2. There are five parts to the test. You will hear each piece twice. We will now stop for a moment before we start the test. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct answer. One. Where is the cup now? I can't find my favourite cup anywhere, Joe. Do you know where it is? Look in the cupboard. That's where it usually is. I did. And on the shelf next to the cupboard. Oh, sorry. I think I left it by the sink when I finished the washing up. Thanks. Now listen again. I can't find my favourite cup anywhere, Joe. Do you know where it is? Look in the cupboard. That's where it usually is. I did. And on the shelf next to the cupboard. Oh, sorry. I think I left it by the sink when I finished the washing up. Thanks. Two. Who will Sally meet at the station? My sister's arriving at the station at six. Can you pick her up, Sally? Of course. Is it your younger sister, the one with long black hair? No, the older one. You haven't met her yet. I think you showed me her photo. Does she have short hair? Does her? She's blonde. Now listen again. My sister's arriving at the station at six. Can you pick her up, Sally? Of course. Is it your younger sister, the one with long black hair? No, the older one. You haven't met her yet. I think you showed me her photo. Does she have short hair? Does her? She's blonde. Three. What did the man learn to do at the beach? How was your trip? It was brilliant. I really enjoyed swimming. The sea was so warm. <laughs> Lucky you! And I met some great people who showed me how to play volleyball. I've not done it before. And it was great to see surfing. I'd love to learn, and I think I'll have lessons next year. Now listen again. How was your trip? It was brilliant. I really enjoyed swimming. The sea was so warm. <laughs> Lucky you! And I met some great people who showed me how to play volleyball. I've not done it before. And it was great to see surfing. I'd love to learn, and I think I'll have lessons next year. Four. Where are they going to meet? Do you want to go to the cinema this evening and see that film? OK. And we could go and eat something first. All right. Why don't I wait for you outside the bookshop at about six? I'll come and find you there when I finish work. Then we can go and look for a restaurant before the film. Now listen again. Do you want to go to the cinema this evening and see that film? OK. And we could go and eat something first. All right. Why don't I wait for you outside the bookshop at about six? I'll come and find you there when I finish work. Then we can go and look for a restaurant before the film. Five. What didn't the man buy? Did you get everything for our ski trip? 
Did you find some nice new gloves? Not the ones I wanted, but these warm ones were on sale. Sunglasses weren't in the sale, but I liked these so much I got them. Cool. And did you get a scarf? I don't think I need a new one. The one I've already got is fine. Now listen again. Did you get everything for our ski trip? Did you find some nice new gloves? Not the ones I wanted, but these warm ones were on sale. Sunglasses weren't in the sale, but I liked these so much I got them. Cool. And did you get a scarf? I don't think I need a new one. The one I've already got is fine. That is the end of part one. Now look at part two. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one word, or a number, or a date, or a time. Look at questions 6 to 10 now. You have 10 seconds. You will hear a woman talking to sailing club members about a trip. For the next trip, we'll sail round to Southway Point and back. It's on the 19th of July, and we'll leave at 8 in the morning. But please note, this trip is longer than usual. We usually arrive back at the club at 5, but this time we'll return at 6.30 in the evening. We'll sail all morning and stop for lunch in Eastleigh Harbour. This year, we'll go to a cafe called Sky. There are pictures of clouds on the walls. It's lovely. You should bring a swimsuit, because if the weather's good, we'll dive off the boat. We have lots of towels, so there's no need for you to bring one. I know we took 20 people last time, but this time the boat's smaller, so we can only take 18. The cost of the trip is £10 per person, and if you want to go, give your name to Miss Harcourt, our new club secretary. I'll spell her surname H A R C O U. R. T. She's here every morning. Now listen again. For the next trip, we'll sail round to Southway Point and back. It's on the 19th of July, and we'll leave at 8 in the morning. But please note, this trip is longer than usual. We usually arrive back at the club at 5, but this time we'll return at 6.30 in the evening. We'll sail all morning and stop for lunch in Eastleigh Harbour. This year, we'll go to a cafe called Sky. There are pictures of clouds on the walls. It's lovely. You should bring a swimsuit because if the weather's good, we'll dive off the boat. We have lots of towels, so there's no need for you to bring one. I know we took 20 people last time, but this time the boat's smaller, so we can only take 18. The cost of the trip is £10 per person, and if you want to go, Give your name to Miss Harcourt, our new club secretary. I'll spell her surname H 
A-R-C-O-U-R-T. She's here every morning. That is the end of part two. Now look at part three. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. You will hear a manager, Victoria, talking to her assistant, Daniel, about the new company building. Victoria, how shall we tell staff about the new company building? I'll tell everyone at the same time, Daniel. We can, we can use our largest office. And by the way, I'd like the staff barbecue to be a surprise. I'll email everyone the details later. Shall we tell them why we're moving to a new building? Yes. I'll explain that because we'll be 10 kilometers away from the center, the rent's much lower, but that the offices are the same size. Sure. Today's May 31st. So when will we be in the new building? Let's say by July 1st, Staff must start packing. Then, August 15th will be the first day in their new offices. Okay. Perhaps staff will want to know what's near the building. Like the great sports center across the road. But the cafes around there don't look very nice. And the shopping center looks small. Yes. You've asked me to order a few things. I've bought the signs that we'll need, and I must remember to get keys for everyone. We're using the same desks and chairs. Good. Now listen again. Victoria, how shall we tell staff about the new company building? I'll tell everyone at the same time, Daniel. We can use our largest office. And, by the way, I'd like the staff barbecue to be a surprise. I'll email everyone the details later. Shall we tell them why we're moving to a new building? Yes. I'll explain that because we'll be 10 kilometers away from the center, the rent's much lower, but that the offices are the same size. Sure. Today's May 31st. So when will we be in the new building? Let's say by July 1st, staff must start packing. Then, August 15th will be the first day in their new offices. Okay. Perhaps staff will want to know what's near the building. Like the great sports center across the road. But the cafes around there don't look very nice. And the shopping center looks small. Yes. You've asked me to order a few things. I've bought the signs that we'll need, and I must remember to get keys for everyone. We're using the same desks and chairs. Good. That is the end of part three. Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Sixteen. You will hear a woman, Jen, 
telling her friend about her favorite singer, Mikey. What's just happened? I've just seen Mikey, my favorite singer. Wow, Jen. You've been to his concert? The tickets were too expensive for me, unfortunately. So I waited outside the theater. Did you get a chance to speak to him? He waved and I got a picture, but that's all. I shouted hello, but he didn't hear me. He was in a hurry. Now listen again. I've just seen Mikey, my favorite singer. Wow, Jen. You've been to his concert? The tickets were too expensive for me, unfortunately. So I waited outside the theater. Did you get a chance to speak to him? He waved and I got a picture, but that's all. I shouted hello, but he didn't hear me. He was in a hurry. Seventeen. You will hear a man, Alex, talking to a friend about a tennis competition. Why didn't Alex do well in the competition? Hi, Alex. How was the tennis competition? I didn't play very well. I went to bed really late the night before. Ugh, it's horrible playing when you don't have enough energy. I remember once I didn't eat all day and then I played a match. I know, it's really important to have plenty to eat and drink before a competition. Now listen again. Hi, Alex. How was the tennis competition? I didn't play very well. I went to bed really late the night before. Ugh, it's horrible playing when you don't have enough energy. I remember once I didn't eat all day and then I played a match. I know, it's really important to have plenty to eat and drink before a competition. Eighteen. You will hear two people talking at a tourist information center. What advice does the man give the woman? What can you tell me about the National Museum? I'd like to go there this afternoon. Well, there's always so much going on at the museum. The exhibitions are all worth visiting. But don't spend money on tickets now. Why is that? Tomorrow's the only day in August when you won't have to pay. And that offer even includes the special exhibitions. 19. What can you tell me about the National Museum? I'd like to go there this afternoon. Well, there's always so much going on at the museum. The exhibitions are all worth visiting. But don't spend money on tickets now. Why is that? Tomorrow's the only day in August when you won't have to pay. And that offer even includes the special exhibitions. 19. You will hear two friends talking about what they did at the weekend. What didn't the woman do at the weekend? Did you play basketball this weekend, Katie? I couldn't. I'd hurt my leg. But I watched an amazing game on TV on Sunday afternoon. I saw that too. So, were you at home all weekend? No. I had a great time in town with a friend on Saturday morning. I got myself some great new trainers. They're really smart. 19. Did you play basketball this weekend, Katie? I couldn't. I'd hurt my leg. But I watched an amazing game on TV on Sunday afternoon. I saw that too. So, were you at home all weekend? No. 
I had a great time in town with a friend on Saturday morning. I got myself some great new trainers. They're really smart. Twenty. You will hear a man talking to his friend about his new flat. What's he going to do now? Thanks for helping me move in. The apartment's looking great. I'm glad we decided to put the bookcase in the corner. It didn't look right next to the door. I'm not sure about the colour of the walls, but I can change that later. It's really cold in here, though, so I've got to do something about that immediately. Now listen again. Thanks for helping me move in. The apartment's looking great. I'm glad we decided to put the bookcase in the corner. It didn't look right next to the door. I'm not sure about the colour of the walls, but I can change that later. It's really cold in here, though, so I've got to do something about that immediately. That's the end of part four. Look at part five. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 21 to 25 now. You have 15 seconds. You will hear a woman telling her brother about her friends and their hobbies. What hobby does each friend have? I was thinking, most of my friends just have one hobby. Right, like Simon? Yes, he's always drawing and painting. I know. And what does, does Jane like doing? Taking pictures, especially black and white. Oh yes. I saw one she took of a guy reading a book. It was brilliant. She's really good. Yeah. And Derek, he's in a rock band. Actually, they're playing at the theatre next week. Oh, we should go. Sure. And you know Mary? I think so. Well, she's been to so many countries, but she never takes any photos. She says she's too busy. Right. And... Isn't Tony a big football fan? Not these days, but he's been in some plays this year. He's good on stage. He was in one about a musician. Oh, yes. I read about that online. And Sarah? Well, she goes to see the local basketball matches most weekends. And recently, she paid $80 just to see a cycle race. Now listen again. I was thinking, most of my friends just have one hobby. Right, like Simon? Yes, he's always drawing and painting. I know. And what does Jane like doing? Taking pictures, especially black and white. Oh yes, I saw one she took of a guy reading a book. It was brilliant. She's really good. Yeah. And Derek, he's in a rock band. Actually, they're playing at the theatre next week. Oh, we should go. Sure. And you know Mary? I think so. Well, she's been to so many countries, but she never takes any photos. She says she's too busy. Right. And isn't Tony a big football fan? Not these days, but he's been in some plays this year. He's good on stage. He was in one about a musician. Oh, yes. I read about that online. And Sarah? Well, she goes to see the local basketball matches most weekends. And recently, she paid $80 just to see a cycle race. That is the end of part five.
You now have six minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet.